Welcome back to the Off Grid family. Today we're doing a very short video on a recap kind of thing. If you watch a lot of my videos you will have noticed or seen that I was working on a jackfruit project. Jackfruits are a tropical plant that bears the biggest fruit in the world up to about 39 kilograms or something stupid, 35 I think it is. Um, and I wanted to see if I could make grow lights and keep it hot enough for it to survive in our climate which is wet, cold and miserable. I'll show you how they're getting on. Because I've been so busy with other projects, I've sort of neglected them, so I'll show you how to tell if they're not doing so well, and I'm gonna repot them as well. So let's get on with it, shall we? So here they are, I'll give you a close up on them in a minute and talk you through why I think they, they need to be repotted and so on. But um, three out of the five seeds properly germinated, and I kept watering the seeds that didn't, even so, because quite often, even you know months afterwards suddenly you'll start seeing something sprout and I've got to say one of them has started sprouting but it's completely different looking than these and not, uh, not it's not a different plant um, but it's sprouting in a completely different way it's got two main veins coming off it two main stems and it looks completely different but it's definitely a, still a jackfruit so I'll just keep an eye on that I might show you at the end of this video if I remember but um, yeah, it's just, they're, they're doing quite well, but they definitely need to be repotted. The roots are too tight in there, and um, they've used all the nutrients in the soil. You know, it was rubbish soil. I didn't have very long, it was pouring with rain, I got what I could kind of thing. So they definitely, they're in great, great need of some decent soil. So I'll show you them close up and explain the bits that tell me that they're not doing so well, and then we'll repot them. Okay, as you'll be able to tell on this leaf now, there is slight patches, and I'll zoom you into that quickly. Slight patches here, as if it's been hurt. This isn't it. I, I'm not entirely sure what actually causes this, but I've seen it in a lot of other plants where they're just not getting the right things. It's a little bit too, um, not enough sunlight, not enough vitamins, and that's why this happens. Um, I don't know what the exact processes but I've got um, the light the sunlights on them now you know my LED ones on them again so they should be getting enough light and it's been quite sunny recently as well so we've been okay there also the leaves have gone a lot softer they were a lot harder but they've, they've just started to soften off which is never a good sign when it comes to any type of plants so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pot all of them up into much 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 bigger pots and I'm going to give them shop-bought um, compost because I can't be bothered to get my actual compost out of the compost bin. Pure laziness on my part and because I'm so busy. I'm trying at the moment to make a wind turbine and record it, so that's taken up a lot of my time. So I'll get these into a nice big container. This is the biggest one I'll be using at the moment. And then I can actually have them in different places around the house. Uh, while it's sunny and then I can actually have them under the glow, grow lights when it's not sunny. When repotting any plants at all, you have to be very careful with the roots like you'd assume. And most plants do not like being buried below their stem. So be very careful when repotting it not to bury it too deep. Some love it. Um, tomatoes are absolutely fine. You can bury them quite, quite deep and they don't mind at all but other things will actually die because bacteria and because of the moisture in the soil will rot the leaves and you know, there's various reasons. But with these, I'm not 100% and to be honest, the leaves never came completely out of the, the, the actual seed. They didn't, um, they didn't push themselves up so they actually stayed in the soil to some degree and I didn't want to mess with it because I didn't know. So, I, I filled this up to, no, I, I want more, hang on. Right, I filled it up to quite, quite close to the top, and now I'm just going to make enough of a room to fit, if I, as if I was going to put the, um, the flower pot directly in. Because what I want to do, I'm not going to mess with the roots at all, I just want to take it straight out of the pot and put it straight into here. Some people would soak the roots and so on, but I don't think that's advisable. So, this is going to be for the biggest one, which is the one that's showing the signs of fatigue. Now, turn it over, holding the stem only very, very lightly. You don't need to like squeeze the stem at all. And then tap, there we go, and it plops out into your hand. 
and I'm still protecting the stem but I'm just going to turn it up and plop it straight in the hole. At this point I'm going to give it a bit of a poke and a push but again being very careful not to damage the roots. And once it's in there I'll give it a little push, nothing major and there we go. One is repotted. Now I will water this, absolutely soak the soil, let it drain off and then I will put it on one of these um, trays but I just want to get as much moisture into the soil as I can. Right, I'm going to do the other two now and I'll be back after that. And there we go. Three beautiful jack plants that need a little bit more watering, as I say, and then they can go back to their old home and new homes because I'm going to be putting them in different windowsills while we've got this nice sunny weather. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions or comments or whatever, leave them in the description and I'll get back to you as quickly as I possibly can. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, this channel covers an extremely big array of different um, how-to videos or just, you know, follow-along videos so you can sort of learn how to do something through the errors I make. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.